Folks, we're here in Mack, Colorado, and we have two of these large bale feeders. They're Dillers. Uh, Diller Manufacturing is the one that makes these. You can see that they're they're designed, really they're designed for a three by three bale is what I think they're really designed for. They, they measure eight foot wide and they're 12 foot long. There are four slanted head stalls on each end and there are eight slanted head stalls on each side. So, and that, that does not include the corner areas. So if you included the corner areas, you would have, uh, let's see, six and six is 12 and 16. So you could put 28, in theory, 28 heads can poke their way through these feeders here and, and use these feeders. But I wanted to just do a little video and show you because they're, they're really good. These are, they're actually just almost like new guys. They have not been used that much. And to my knowledge, and I'll look again as we're going around, but there's no brakes or welds on either one of these. So very, very clean, good feeders. You can see they've got the uh, holes cut out of the tub area so that the water will drain out of them. There is no rust on these. They are in very, very good condition. You can also see that you've got the spot to put a forklift in on the side here and lift them up. So that's, that's pretty handy for moving them around if you'd like to do that I and mean, you have a set of pallet forks. They are on a set of skids. The, the legs on the skids look good. Again, there's no rust on these. I think the legs are all in very, very good shape as well. And, and the feeders in general are just very, very good condition. So again, made for a three by three by eight bale, you could obviously do a three by uh, four by eight bale on its edge just as easy. And then a four by four bale would fit in there. It would be a little bit wedged in there, by the, <clears throat> excuse me, by the time you dropped it in there, but, but you could do it nonetheless. And, and these are just great little feeders here. So uh, Diller is the manufacturer name of them. I'm going to walk around here to this other one real quick. We're going to post the same video. There's two of them. We'll say a choice. You can do uh, so much each, take one or both. But again, as I'm, as I'm looking these over, guys, not only are there not any welds or brakes on this thing, um, but they haven't even wore the paint off of it in most of the areas. You can see the model number HFS8812C and 2017, so they're only a couple of years old, but, but as you look up inside here, guys, they haven't even wore the paint off the cross members. They just haven't used these very much. So again, you're buying feeders that are basically just like new. There's a little bit of paint. This is the area on each of these feeders on the corners where the cattle have rubbed on them. That's where you see the biggest point of wear is just on the corner points here. But the skids are good. The cradle for the hay is good. It's got the fork pockets for your pallet forks to slide into to lift them up and move them around. Really good quality feeders and we'll put them up on equipment facts. We're going to do the live auction on March 26th here in Mac and if you guys want to bid online you can sure do that. If you have any questions give us a call. Thank you.